Hey guys, welcome to part two of this small format tutorial course where we're going to be jumping in now to the actual envelopes and really start to talk about the sound design and how you can use the envelopes to shape your sounds to your liking inside a massive. So first, let's let's just think about for a second, why are there actually four envelopes in massive? Why aren't there just one? Why isn't there two? Why why four? Well, the reason why I, I actually sometimes wish there was more than four, it'd be nice if there was five or six, but the reason there are four is because this fourth one, as we discussed in the first section, it's tied to your amp mod. It's the overall dynamics and kind of the ADSR of the overall sound. Well, these other three are here so you can modulate things for the specific type of sound that you're making. And let me expound on the word things. If you're making a pluck, you're going to want to have certain characteristics in every section of the synth to make it a really strong sound. You're going to want your oscillators to be plucky. You're going to want your filters to be plucky. And you're going to want your fourth envelope to be a little bit plucky. Now, I see a lot of presets made that for like a pluck, they'll just do this. Right? And maybe turn on a filter, turn that up, modulate with that same envelope. And they'll call that like a pluck. All right, well, that's all well and good, but it just makes a really generic and basic sound. Now, the cool thing about Massive's envelopes are you can dra drag and drop them anywhere in the synth to modulate. So what I do is I section off in my, just mentally, uh, envelope one I use to control the tone of my sound. And that's dependent on the type of sound I am trying to make. So I use envelope one to modulate things like my oscillators, my noise generator, my modulation oscillator, anything that generates a tone. So if I'm making a pad, my envelope shape for this is gonna be more like this. Something, you know, a little bit slopier and longer and chill, I might turn up the velocity and things like that. But what I'll end up doing is using this envelope to modulate the wavetable position, the intensity, the amp, all the stuff going on in my oscillators, right? I might use it to create one, one I might use the, uh, I might use two or three oscillators and use this to just control the amp of one or two of, or the, of the oscillators. So then some of the oscillators are flowing at different times. So with a pluck, I'm gonna do something completely opposite. I'm gonna make this type of shape, right? It's gonna be really short and plucky or staccato as the name suggests. For a lead, it can depend on the type of lead you're trying to make. Is it something that you wanna play monophonically? Is it gonna be something that you're playing chords with and how long do you want to hold the sound out? But regardless, if you start using envelope one as your tool to shape the sound of your oscillator's tone, it becomes a really powerful element because then it, it becomes kind of this, this habit where, okay, I'm making a bass that I want to play, you know, short, a short riff with, kind of staccato. I need to create that shape with my envelope. And then you just use that to modulate your various parameters inside the oscillators. Now, envelope two, I will use to control the filters or whatever's manipulating the tone. Might be the inserts, might be the filters. Envelope three, I'll typically throw on my effects. And then envelope four, I just use as a way to strengthen the first three envelopes and what they're already achieving through the oscillators, the filters, and the effects, just to make it a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna show you this with a pluck because it's just the easiest example to show you. So here's a little pass I have of the stock sound and massive. Right, really, really boring sound and sounds awful right now. So let's let's look at this method I just told you about using the three envelopes. So this first envelope, I'm gonna use this to modulate my oscillators or whatever's generating my tone. So let's choose a more interesting tone. We're gonna do the uh, formant saw or F saw. And now for this, if it's a pluck, I, I want to modulate my pitch a little bit. So let's modulate this up to about 48. Just till I start to hear that little click. So that's obviously too much. But right around in there. And now I can even use this to modulate out my wavetail position. I'm 
I might even modulate the amp with this just a little bit to really emphasize that plucky quality. All right, and it might not seem like much now, but it's definitely a start. And now let's go to our noise. I might choose bright noise. I'm gonna do the same thing, modulate the amp with this. Because now the oscillator is reacting like a pluck on its own. And this is independent from the shape. Right now, this fourth envelope is not the shape you'd use for a pluck, but right now we have a plucky-ish sound. So if we go to our fourth envelope now that we've done that, and just kind of control this just a little bit, we don't need to do a whole lot with this. Turn the decay in just a little. We don't need to make it this type of shape. We can just leave it like this. So we can just do that type of shape. Now compare this with this. This is what's really plucky and short and you know sharp and staccato. This has a little bit of body to it and a little bit of decay. And I just did that now just because I know what sound I'm trying to create. So you can use your first envelope and then kind of shape it with your fourth envelope to really strengthen what's going on. So let's move on to the second envelope. I'll use that to control my filter. So let's just load up a basic low pass four filter. And now we, the reason why you use different envelopes is because this is too short and sharp. It would not let pretty much, it, it would squash any frequencies coming through the filter. So we're going to do a similar shape, but leave the decay maybe at about, you know, halfway as opposed to turning it down almost all the way. So for envelope one, you can see this decay is almost at, at zero. Now this is at 50%. Turn the release up a little. Now that's what's controlling the filter. I can use the same shape to give it a little bit of resonance because resonance can be a cool effect or a really harsh effect, right? Too much. And then if we use the same envelope, just kind of bump it. All right, that's interesting. So just to recap what we've done, I went to my oscillator, just one oscillator sound. I modulated the pitch with envelope one. I then used envelope two to modulate my filter, generic, basic, cutoff, you know, of the low pass four type filter, nothing crazy going on. Now let's keep on going. Let's use envelope three to start you know, modulating some effects. So let's turn on the insert one and I'll use, we'll do sample and hold. And I just, I'm just gonna use this just to gritty it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna make a similar type of sound. It's gonna be plucky. Turn the release down to this. It's just dirtying up the sound just a pinch, and it's still a plucky type shape. I don't have a lot of boost on the level. So now I've gone to three different areas of the synth, modulated with three different envelopes to really get the overall sound. And I haven't even touched things like my voicing or anything like that. So then to finish the sound, what you can do obviously is the effects. I can do throw on a delay. You know, turn up my vibrato a little bit. Right? And so I was just going through quickly shaping the sound. It all becomes very easy once you use your envelopes. So I see a lot of people go to the filters or they'll, they'll keep toggling through oscillators to find that sound or that perfect element to their sound. I would say the bulk of the sound design process in Massive is coming from the envelopes and modulating different areas of the synth with those envelopes. Now let's use our third envelope, maybe modulate some of the high frequencies and the... And 
there's your pluck sound. It's really easy when you start to use these envelopes, and you can do things like obviously, you know, modulate pitch and things with your your LFOs. You know, so right now it's a one oscillator sound. I just turned the voices down to one, so it's a one voice sound, right? And this is what you get just using the envelopes to really control the quality of the sound. So you can imagine how powerful this becomes if you're using two oscillators, three oscillators, two filters, things like that. I'm showing you the most basic version of a sound just so you can really see how important these envelopes are to shaping the sound. So let's turn this now into a pad. So to do that, I'm going to quickly go to my, uh, my uh, editor here, my, and then I'm going to hit uh, Command J if you're using if you guys are Logic users, and what this does is just joins your MIDI notes together. So then we can get you know more of a pad feel. All right, I'll just do a few few different few different parts of that. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, take too much time. But let's turn this into a pad now. So going back to our first envelope, we now need to change this from a plucky shape to a pad type shape. So now with this, we're going to modulate the amp more. Turn off this pitch modulation that we did because we do not want that at all. All right, and then let's turn this same type of shape for the filter. We'll do the same thing with our fourth envelope now. I just start playing some chords now. You start to see how this general idea works. And now I need to turn this off. We don't want this to be as high for the noise. I might turn off the insert. Okay, let's go the voices, pads sound better with more voices, turn the pitch cutoff on. All right, and so as these first few notes here, sounds like a pad, and all I did, it's the same sound, same effects, pretty much same everything. I can turn the, the sample and hold back. Right, everything's pretty much the same. You know, you can start to use this other envelope to control different parts of the oscillator to make it more interesting. But there you have it. That's now a pad sound. All right, guys, so let's just recap everything that we've basically covered in this tutorial. Now, I like to use the envelopes, and I, I look at those as tools to shape each section of Massive. That's why there are four of them, in my opinion. I'll use one envelope, or sometimes two, depending on how many oscillators I have active, to modulate things like the wavetail position, the intensity, the pitch, or the amp, or maybe all of the above. It just really depends. I'll even use that to control my noise, and just, just anything that needs to really fit the characteristic of the sound I'm trying to create. I'll then use another envelope, usually envelope two or sometimes three, to control my filter frequencies. Now, you can open up the filter or close it. You can use it on the resonance. You can use it on the scream. You can use it in a lot of different ways with each filter type inside of Massive. It doesn't matter. But you just want to use shapes in your envelopes that strengthen your sound. And that's just basic, you know, the, th the basic thought process of, okay, is this sound long, short, plucky, staccato? What's it doing? And then make your envelope shape to kind of visualize that actual sound. Then I'll use, finally I'll use the other open envelope, which is usually envelope three, to modulate my effects. Because then you can use things like the inserts, you can use the hard clippers and the sign shapers, and you can get more tonality and musicality out of those plugins. 
And finally, I will use that envelope on maybe my effects like reverb, delay, flanger, the dimension expander, the EQ, whatever it may be. And then really to round out the sound, I'll go to the fourth envelope and then make that envelope shape kind of half. I'll scale back 50% of what I did in the modulation envelope. So I pulled up a pluck sound to show you what I, what I was talking about. So right now, right? So if we look at envelope three, it's modulating my pitch and my cutoff filter and the frequencies and things like that. It's a really short, plucky envelope. We already discussed that. Well, let's look at envelope four. Envelope four is still that type of shape. It's just not as drastic. So I usually kind of reduce the drastic level by about 50% for my fourth envelope. And that's that works with pads, plucks, basses, leads, whatever. And then you get a controlled sound, but it's not squashing the dynamics of your sound. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial course. Hope you got a lot of cool information from it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.